Good morning everyone. We are back down here in southeastern Ohio. Um, got a few things to do here. Got one day to do it. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, as you know, we cleared out some se a section of the pipeline up top. Um, we're going to run up there. Good friend of mine, let me try out this uh, groundhog plow that goes on the back and the hitch of the ATV. Hoping the conditions are right. It seems like they got a little bit of rain here. Doesn't do real great, he said, when it's wet. Um, I'm hoping up top shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to try that out. See how it does. If it does good, we've got <clears throat> some of our leftover food plot here. Got some oats in, in the bucket. Brassica, deep woods. Uh, I'm going to be putting that down up on that pipeline. Got the... Apple Max Mineral Mix, we're going to go ahead and freshen up our spots. Then we are going to top off the deer feeder and come back down and get the grass cut. So, got quite a few things to do. Pipeline, see how it turned out where we cut all that down, sprayed that with Roundup. Then we're going to also take a look at our food plots that we put in. So if you guys have been watching the, the kill plots that we put in, we're going to take a look at those, see how those are growing. Got plenty of rain down here last few weeks so i'm expecting good results hopefully so let's go ahead and get started we don't have a lot of time let's get on the four-wheeler get stuff loaded up and head up and check out the pipeline here we go did a great job i'll cut down completely killed out a few spots of green left not much though awesome job it is a little bit wet here especially if you can see right down here where i come through with the four-wheeler a little bit wet and squishy I don't know how that's gonna work for the the plow but uh yeah we're gonna give her a try a big hole right there so yep definitely killed her off good we're plow hooked up start making some laps and see uh, see how she does We're definitely getting some dirt exposed. Working out pretty good for the conditions and the way my four wheeler hitch is. But you can see we're really cutting up some some dirt over here on this side. Looking really good. So yeah, this is only only after about 10 minutes. We've got a lot of dirt exposed. So we're gonna keep at it. But yeah, the hitch, you can see, gotta get that hitch welded, get that braced up better. Let me show you guys what happened here. My hitch is a piece of junk. It already started to bend off there to where this piece is lifting up as you can see at an angle. So I'm going to pull that back down and weld this. But I don't have my welder down here so 
yeah, we're gonna do what we can with what we got and try to get some seed in the ground. We gotta have to take this back home, weld it so that stays solid instead of just pulling up. There's no weld or nothing across the bottom there. Not too happy with Polaris on that one. About 25, 30 minutes if that. Got all of this tilled up pretty good. Like I say, it's wet, but we got all this dirt exposed. Got some nice real marks there to put the seed in. What also worked out good is I was able to come up in here and actually cut. You can see how tall that grass was up there. Actually cut all this grass down with that. So, makes it a whole lot easier to walk. I went on both sides around my trail and come down so I got a nice walking path through here but got all this stuff here cut down. There we go. We're going to go ahead and seed this area. This area here. Uh, I might go ahead and throw. I got extra oats over top of that. I doubt it'll grow. Maybe, maybe not, but got extra so I might just go ahead and top dress it. But you can see some of the dirt starting to get exposed if I kept going over it. But like I say, the the hitch on the four wheeler is not the best, so I don't have a lot of down pressure. So I'm not getting what I was hoping to get out of that to cut through this grass and to actually maybe till some of this up. But we definitely got all this area here good. That was the plan. That was what I was hoping for. So yeah, I'm gonna run and grab the seed come up throw some seed down here then we're gonna go ahead and fill the feeder check the other kill plots see how they're doing and check cameras and see if we got anything worth uh, worth looking at down here so just run down the hill we're gonna go ahead and unhook this run down the hill grab the seed be right back up Alright, we uh, got finished up with the food plot over there. Now we are up on top of the hill where the stump is that I dumped my Apple Max mineral at. I'm going to give you guys a little update on the food plot. It came in not quite as thick as what I was hoping, but it did come in fairly good. Let's take a look. A little walk through here. You can see the critters have been in here. Coming in a little bit thicker right here with the sunlight. Got some deer tracks. Take a look at that. They are eating it away. We got our camera set up right there, so hopefully we get some pictures. But yeah, you guys seen the Apple Max mineral go on this stump. And you can see some fresh chew marks. They are just eating the stump away right there. Some fresh. Ridiculous. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pull the card, replenish that Apple Max Mineral, and head down to the blind, check out that food plot, and see, uh, see how it did. Alright, we made it up to the blind. Well, we had to come down the hill. This is actually the lower the midsection. Got some disappointing news. All the work we put in here for the food plot has pretty much been washed away with all the rain, looks like. Take a look. We got a little bit of growth, but definitely not as much as I was hoping. You can see a little bit of green. 
here and there, but this is just so soupy here. Look at that. So soupy that I don't think this is going to grow too good here. Just got a little more up here on the higher side. We got a little more growth, but if you take a look and see, not very good at all. Not very good. Disappointing to put in all the hard work. Have it, uh, have it looking like this, but got some extra seeds, some oats. We're gonna overseed this thing, see if we can get something from it. Um, looks like my oh, camera's been knocked over from the storm. Here it is on the ground. That's great. Hopefully, it happened uh, just the other day and not a while ago. So. Very disappointing. We're gonna overseed all this right here with the rest of the seed that we have left. Hopefully we can get something out of this. So let's get busy. gonna wrap it up here for today i'm gonna get down and get some grass cut gonna get the mowing done and head back up north if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button if you enjoy the channel please subscribe we're gonna be doing a lot of hunting down here as well as property up north in massa county might even get out to do some union county hunting this year um as well as franklin possibly make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one thanks